All right, I just got this in after uh, 11 days of ordering this from Geek Buying for $60. It's the Miu Mini Plus. Let's take a look inside, see what games there is and how it looks. It supposedly has all the uh, Super Nintendo games, Game Boy Color, PlayStation 1, arcade games. Okay. The charging cable. This actually, it's a mini SD card reader. So I can use it also to put my mini SD card here to transfer like movies and watch it on my TV. So it has a USB in on my TV. Some wipes. All right, it looks like a classic Game Boy with a bigger screen. I'm really curious to see how um, good the screen looks, especially compared to my 3DS because I have a lot of classic games on my 3DS. So it just clicks. It's clicky, it doesn't go in a lot. Just click. Ooh, I like that. It's not just like, just a click, it's goes in good too yeah Ooh, the d-pad feels good too okay got a headphone and all that stuff all right let's turn it on oh i should take this off loading Ooh. let me turn off the sound The screen is very nice. Let's go straight to the games and see what games there is. All right, let's take a look at the games here. Let's go to PlayStation first. There's only 24 games. So I am <clears throat> mainly want to see if they have the Final Fantasy, Resident Evil 2. So let's see. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Final Fantasy Origins Tactics. No, no Final Fantasy 7 or 8 or 9. Tekken 2 Contra, Toomba, Tony Hawk, Vagrant Story, Warcraft 2. No, I'm going to have to add those. Okay, uh, let's check out Game Boy Advance. I think the rest of this should have, look at this, 1,457 games. My goodness. Yeesh. Does it have the Zeldas? I'm sure it does. If it has that many games, I got to look through it all. And, and I'm going to be playing my favorites a little bit so you can see it all. The Nintendo, 6,000, my goodness. Game Boy, 1,845. Super Nintendo, 6,003. Wow. All right. Um, now, this is the stock. stock uh, I didn't do anything to it, you know? It looks pretty cool. So, uh, whoa, the Chinese stuff here. Um, yeah, all right, let's let's fire up some games. Chrono Trigger, let's check that out. Screen looks really nice. Sound is good. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Can I take change it to English? So <clears throat> I'm guessing I'm gonna have to change the game that's in it. See if the text is in English. Wow. <clears throat> the screen. I'll tell you what it looks like to me. The Game Boy Micro, which has one of the best screens from my memory. You know? It's that clear and colorful. <clears throat> I like the look of it, too. I was debating on getting the clear purple one. Yeah, this is in, in Chinese.
Yeah. Oh, man, this song. I can hear the sound that's a little blown out, like, like the volume is really high, you know, and it's like over a little bit, but I can turn it lower, so it's not a big deal. <clears throat> Interesting. So you do have to make some uh, adjustments to the game that's in it already, which is very easy to do, so to get it to English. Legend of Zelda. <clears throat> Man, it looks great, so clear. Buttons feel fantastic. Okay, this is in English. Oh, yeah. Let's see the uh, rain outside. It's beautiful. This is beautiful. I'm really impressed with this. Oh, this is Link's Awakening, but it's not the color version. Let me see if I can find the color version. Yeah, here it is, DX. It's a DX version. There we go. Oh, man. It looks great. See a little, like, I heard that. very clear love the music in this game too Okay, Oracle of Ages and Seasons is here, so I'm assuming all the games that are good are, are here already. <laughs> now the question is, if you have like a 3DS or other handheld systems, like, I mean, even the Nintendo Switch, <clears throat> do we still, do you, is this still worth it? If you have like the other games on it too. Wait, is there no music here? Oh, there's not supposed to be, I guess. Yeah, okay. So is it worth it? So here's the thing, like the 3DS, the top screen that it uses to 
you play the game on. I feel like the pixels or something for these classic games isn't as clear as this screen is actually. So yes, I would still recommend this. But for example, like a PlayStation games, um, like Final Fantasy VII and Resident Evil 2, not even Resident Evil 2 because you can't play that on the Switch, the original. Um, see, look, this is the Chinese version or Japanese. Um, so I would still play that on that screen. It's bigger and they actually made it for the Switch so you can use that portable so it'll be better. But otherwise, like other games that that um, aren't on there, obviously you can get on here is uh, it's worth it for that. <clears throat> but I feel like this would be because of the size and everything, it just is better to take with you if you're gonna play those classic games. That even even like on the 3DS, I still think this looks better, the screen of playing those classic games than uh, the 3DS. Wow, look at this. PlayStation on this, very nice. I even have the Vita, the PS Vita still. So like Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, I can still play that portable too. Um, and Symphony of the Night and stuff. But I'm telling you this, uh, so far I'm very impressed with this. I will be carrying this around with me. But I just have to like load more games, like the PlayStation games. Like Resident Evil 2 again is one now I'm really wanting to play portable that I really can't right now. I think on the Vita, I might have it on the Vita that I can because I had it bought on the PlayStation shop and downloaded it on there. Yeah, and here's PlayStation. It looks great. It looks great. Like Zelda Minish Cap is on here. Again, uh, I think uh, everything except the PlayStation has a bunch of the games. You know what this looks like? Uh, the screen is a little weird now on this. Maybe it's an option I gotta change, you know? There's a bunch of video options. Let's see. Video filter. Oh my gosh, there's so many options. <laughs> I gotta play around with it and see. It is full screen. Oh, all right, let's just keep playing and see. Yeah. It looks like, uh, see like the dots here. You see like, you see how it's like dotted? Hmm. I gotta figure that out. I gotta figure that out. I'm sure I can get rid of it. You know what it looks like? It looks like a filter for a, what do you call it? Like a interlace video or something like that to make it look more classic. Let me find this out. I found it. It was on screen overlay. So I'm going to turn off the overlay. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, Ooh, option language. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, just turn off on screen overlay. So, I mean, I'm going to keep playing around with it, but 60 bucks, all these games, portable. The weight is good. It doesn't feel cheap and light, but it's not heavy either. It's perfect. And it's got that Game Boy look to it, the original Game Boy, like a classic. Yeah, this is one that I'm very happy with. Oh, I wanted to check and see if it has... Um, um, 
the so the, the Metroid games. It should. Um, it's got all these thousands of Metroid, um, like the Game Boy Advance one, uh, Zero Zero Mission and Fusion. There they are. Yep, they're already pre-built in. Uh, let's do Zero Mission. Battery's getting low already. I didn't even charge it though. See, it's got that. Here, let's get close so you can see. See, it's got those dots. Let's go turn off uh, the overlay. Here we go. On screen overlay, shut it off. There we go, see? I don't know why that's a default. It looks, it looks like junk. <laughs> yeah, oh man. You know, I wanted to even buy, like I, I broke my Game Boy Micro. I had it years ago, and I was gonna buy a new one on eBay, but they're so expensive. It's like 150, 200 bucks. You know, I really like the Game Boy Micro, but I mean, here it is, 60 bucks, a bigger screen, and it's very high quality. Yeah, and you could add the filters and everything, you know, if you want. Performance is great, yeah. So, I do not hesitate, I would not hesitate getting this while you can, even if you have the 3DS and all that other stuff, because this is, just put the games on it, I mean it comes with a ton of games, but if you want to add some more or whatever, and yeah, so, uh, yep, so thanks for joining me, um, catch you next time, bye.